So Junior, you're coming up here on a big fight with Mark Hunt. This means a lot to your, I guess, uh, next steps to getting back towards the belt. What are your thoughts on this upcoming bout with Mark? Well, my thoughts are is uh, I'm going to have a, a tough challenge in front of me, you know, and, and Mark Hunt is really tough, you know. He got a uh, knockout power in his hands, you know, and... Uh, uh, He's a very good striker, but I, I, I believe so much in, in my strike skills too, you know, and I will try to knock him out. A lot of people have said ahead of this fight that it's dangerous to stand and trade with Mark Hunt, but do you seem intent to want to do that? Uh, is there anything else in your strategy maybe that we might uh, get surprised by, or is it just going to be maybe you stand and trade? No, yeah. Uh, every time I like, my first strategy is going to be to knock my opponent out, you know, but uh, it's MMA for sure, you know. If I see I have to take him down, I will do that. Use my jiu-jitsu, you know. He's a, he's a tough dude, and uh, 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 I know that, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to, 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 to fight anywhere. There's a lot said in the uh, countdown episode about you overtraining for Kane. What have you done differently in this camp to be able to make sure that you're not overtraining how you did the last fight? Well, yeah, a lot of things happened last fight, you know, and uh, the result was terrible for me. Uh, I don't want to let these things happen again, you know, so uh, now I have, a, I did an excellent camp in Brazil, you know, I have a better team and now I have a physiologist with me all the time, you know, checking my blood and things like that. So uh, if I say I'm 100% now, I can prove. I had heard some talk that maybe you were looking at a camp here in the United States to come train. Have you, uh, I guess, made a decision with that? Yeah, I, I want to come, uh, you know, and train here, but uh, it's tough. It's a little tough, you know. Their MMA in Brazil now is huge, yeah. so it's really big, you know. So, so I spend a lot of time there, too, you know. So it's hard for me to come here, uh, but I want to come in training because I, I want to... I want to learn more, you know, wrestling skills, jiu-jitsu, everything, everything. I, I, we, I, we have a, a good team here. Does it get harder for you as the further you go down your career to keep it fresh in camp, to change it up and to keep learning new things all the time? Or do you find that you continue to learn things all the time? Yeah, I continue to learn things all the time, you know, uh, especially from uh, now, you know, I learned a lot with uh, my last fight and I think uh, I'm going to learn a, a lot more, uh, to, you know, in the future, but uh, um, yeah, I like to, to, to learn because uh, it's very important for me, you know, I want to I wanna keep keep improving my my skills and my personality were you worried at all last week when mark hunt maybe wasn't it looked like he may not get to the fight and i had heard some rumors that maybe big country would fight you you know were you at all uh concerned that this fight wouldn't happen well uh yeah i was worried about that you know because i, I did a, a my whole camp to fight against him you know so but uh I was asking for FC, you know, if if he can he can fight, I want to fight any uh, anyone uh, other opponent, you know. So because you know you know what you you we spend so much time we spend so much time and so too much money training, you know. And when I train, I want to fight. So uh, it's very important for me to fight, you know. And I'm happy he got his visa, and we're gonna have this fight. We look forward to seeing that on Saturday night, Junior. Good luck. Thank you. Probably been asked this a hundred times today, but what was the uh, experience like being stuck and not being able to get here and having to wait through getting the visa approval? Oh, the feeling is like uh, being down where you're going, at a crossroads, because I couldn't go back home to my family and I couldn't go to do my job. What did you do in that time in the limbo, so to speak? Oh, I had a lot of cheesecakes and omelets. No. <laughs> I just, what I was going to do, I couldn't do anything. Just keep training and um, focus on the positive and trying to get here. That's all. So Tuesday, you finally arrived in the morning, if I'm not mistaken, right? Have you been able to acclimate? My acclimate is pretty good. I feel not too bad. Monday. Monday is when I got here. And um, yeah, I don't feel too bad. Pretty good. So what are you expecting out of this fight with JDS? Do you think that he's just going to come in and stand and trade with you? I don't know what to expect. Uh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, if I knew, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Do you 
think it's pretty much of a dangerous idea for him to actually come in and just try to stand and trade with a former K1 champ. Well, it's a dangerous idea for anybody to do that. <laughs> How heavy are your hands in comparison? Do you think that his speed and accuracy or maybe put some difference into the strength that you have in your hands? Well, we'll have to see what happens on the fight night. I can't really say, so we'll have to see what happens. Like I said, man, if I was a fortune teller, man, I would have won the lotto millions of times. <laughs> Mark, obviously at 39, you're, uh, you know, kind of this this title shot may, could be your last, or at least one, one, one more fight and you, and, and you get it. How much more pressure did that you know, put on yourself and may put on this whole consulate thing and everything like that? Uh, no pressure, man. It's just, uh, it was just uh, a little bit frustrating not getting here acclimatized, but you know, I'm, I'm feeling not too bad. I'm feeling pretty good, so... Yeah, no. Do you, do you uh, have any uh, you know, dislike for the, the U.S. the way they, we, we, we handled this whole visa thing? Oh no, I've got no dis I've got no you know, animosity to anybody. You know, uh, it was my problem that was happened a long time ago. You know, why should you know? I, mean, I got for, I got years since though. But that's you know maybe they just did, there's not on me. I don't have no animosity against the U.S. people. It's it's as uh, you know it's, it's, it's you got to do what you got to do to be safe. Yeah. Whatever it is. So, um, you know, it's, was there it was was there a point and you kept going back to the airport, kept going back where you said like this, well, this is not this is not. I, I did go twice. Out. I had everything packed uh, to go and leave, but um, I even got through customs the first time and then yeah. was declined at the gate. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, U.S. Uh, border here said not to board me on the plane, so I got to that. I was like, whoa! But um, like I said, no, and I'm and I'm sitting against the U.S. or anything because you know it's. Uh, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Was he feel like just a you're caught in a big, big, big bureaucracy, a big government, or just kind of? Well, I'm, a, a, I'm no threat to America, man. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I'm no threat to, to, to America. I know what, what am I gonna do? I go, <laughs> so I, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> do you feel on Saturday that maybe you're gonna be the guy playing a spoiler, or kind of the underdog in this fight? I'm always the underdog in every fight, so it doesn't matter for me. All I got to do is put my best performance in, and uh, win, lose, or draw, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it's, it's in God's hands. That's the way it goes. As, as a fighter, I just got to go, give it my all. That's all. They've said that if Junior wins, he gets a shot at Kane. For you, do you think that if you can play the role of spoiler, that you should be deserving of a title shot? Correct. That's it. <laughs> if I beat Junior, then I should get a shot at the world title. Whoever the world title champion is at the time, so. Yes, me. Pick me if I win. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mark.